Well, with me right now is Laura Hoffman. She is with the Emeritus Institute. She teaches photography, and I was right. She was on a while back, a couple years ago, and I'm glad you're back again. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Oh, it's, it's great, and I, I like this subject because, as we were just saying off camera, photography classes are totally changed compared to what they used to be. It was not only taking and composing a photograph within your camera, it was then going into what what used to be called a dark room. The dark room, <laughs> yes. Uh, most people watching <laughs> remember that. I, I doubt um, you know anything. Anybody under uh, maybe like twenty would know what I'm talking about. So it's very different now, right? It's it, it is. Yeah. It's much more technical, but but some things remain the same. Mm -hmm. We still are concerned with composition and design, making a, a memorable image, mm -hmm. and so all that does re remain the same. And of course, seeing the light. And so now it's just different. The cameras are different. Mm -hmm. The workflow is, is different also. Um, but now it, this um, empowers people to now not just, not just send out the, the images for processing, waiting for the film to come back. Mm -hmm. Now we have uh, instant gratification and also more control over the images. Yeah, but I would imagine that first and foremost, it's about composing that photograph and whether you're, whether you're using a camera, your phone, exactly. or whatever it is. Oh, exactly. And seeing, seeing mm -hmm. the opportunities, finding the, the great shot, and, and capturing, uh, capturing moments, and not just taking pictures, mm -hmm. but making great images. Yeah. And so we still, we still have those same concerns from the old days. You know, yeah. Back when I, I remember first taking photography classes and going on these camera walks. Right, yeah. Right? I remember taking a photography class doing that, yes. And, it, and you, you just end it, it ends up opening your eyes up to, uh, to the light in new ways. And so uh, that stays the same. And we can just, we can be more experimental. Mm -hmm. And so I have an approach in my classes too of not just fixing it in post production. In, in fact, we work on getting a, a great sh photograph to begin with. What's the equipment most people are using? Is it their phones? Are they using oh, digital oh, SLRs question. or uh, micro four thirds cameras? What, what is it that they're they're using? Because there's a difference. Oh yes, uh, and it's and it changes all the time. Yeah, and I see more and more people with with smart phones mm. certain, yeah. certainly, especially in the beginning classes, and then what happens? Um, people demand more control out of right. the cameras, and the whole idea is to transmit what you pre-visualize in a photograph uh, into an image. Mm -hmm. And so I'll see the whole range. In fact, we just started a, a camera buying class um, in, within my beginning class. It was very exciting. And so I find that a lot of people are interested in smaller, uh, smaller cameras mm -hmm. that can do it all. Yeah. Right? Like the four, like four thirds mirrorless. Mm -hmm. um, but we, I work with all kinds. Some people bring in uh, full DSLRs, full yeah. frame cameras, and so you have ultimate control. And then a lot of people are now switching to to smaller packages for travel. Yeah, but yes. they're, they're, it's still a matter of mastery of the equipment and getting great shots um, out of any any system. Yeah, I think it's uh, as you said, you get more control with the cameras because with your phone, even if you have uh, a really great camera on your phone. It's bringing in so much light. Uh, there, you often cannot control the focal length. Sometimes right. everything is in focus. Yeah. Where, as you know, obviously with the photography, that shot of something right in the foreground is in focus. Maybe something a little f forward of that is not is not in right. focus, and in the background is totally blurred. Right. You can and control. You, get that, you, you can control yeah. it better. Yeah. Although like, digital phones are catching up. Yeah. And this for, and and I will you know we'll work with the equipment mm -hmm. people have, and that's the that's kind of an exciting part of the work I do. Once the photograph is taken, then what are they bringing it into uh, some image editing? Program? Yeah, we do cover image editors. In okay. fact, I uh, I demonstrate Photoshop mm -hmm. uh, from the Creative Adobe Creative Cloud. Yeah. And so of course our uh, we want to 
get the best quality image to begin with. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we'll go through the steps, uh, depending on the uh, if I'm teaching a beginning class or an intermediate class. Um, in the intermediate class, we have a lot of fun with Photoshop, um, trying out, out different compositing mm -hmm. techniques or filter techniques. Um, and of course, uh, in, in basic, basic enhancements such as cropping, color correction, but there is no um, substitute for great lighting. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And, and, and that's something you can get a lot, a lot more control with with a, a DSLR or something of that rather than your phone is controlling the lighting from the start. Right, right, yeah. and then seeing opportunities. Yeah, and I remember that in photography class. Oh yeah. It was, you'd walk just around uh, when I was at Orange Coast College years ago and you would take a picture of, of a water fountain just because the light that was on her, oh, you know, yeah. something you like that. Yeah, see that opportunity. And we went, speaking of water fountains, we'll, we'll work with different <clears throat> controls, how to, to work with the shutter, uh, how to get the most out of the aperture, all the parts of the camera. You know, we'll, uh, a lot of, we have different exercises to, mm -hmm. to uh, master yeah. the equipment. Yeah. And then have fun with photography. And it's one of those pursuits um, that never gets tiring. Um, we have a lot of lifelong learners, a lot of people that continue to come back to the classes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can, I can see so that. It's a, it's a wonderful, fun experience. It's the best teaching, teaching assignment I've ever had. And so different, again, uh, years ago, when you had, even if you had a, a point and shoot film camera, you know, some cheap little camera, you were much more careful about taking a photograph, even if you're out with your friends and family at the beach or whatever it might be, because you're thinking, all right, I only have uh, 20 yeah. shots on this roll. Right, right. I'm going to have to pay a dollar per print. Yes, you're thinking, okay, money, I'm throwing yeah. away money. Right, and the stakes were higher. And now we have photographic freedom. Yeah. And so, yeah, can you imagine? You're limited to maybe 12 exposures. Yeah. And, and if you remember uh, brownie cameras, oh, yes. right? Yeah. You get that roll. Yeah. And then you have to wait. There's no more waiting. Yeah. And so now people can be more experimental. It's more fun than ever. It's more exciting. And photography is a kind of a pursuit. You, you can get into it any stage of life. Yeah. And what's fun, coming back, uh, popular among kids, Polaroid is yes, back. The you know, Polaroid or the, is yeah, or the, uh, the Fuji Instamac, where yes. they, they, they use a little bit smaller format. Right, right. But and it's instant. And, and kids love that. And there it is. It comes yeah. out, and, and you can pass them around. Yeah, yeah. So kids love that. Although I think a lot of kids nowadays don't even know what Photoshop is anymore, which is interesting. Yeah. I know. <laughs> They're used to the apps on their phone. Laura, thank you very much. Well, thank you. It's a pleasure being here. Thank you for yes. having me back. And uh, folks, you can always uh, check this out at saddleback.com forward slash emeritus over at Clubhouse 4. I think you can still sign up for some classes, right? Right. And spring, uh, spring is underway and yeah. the, summer, um, the summer session begins in late May. Yeah. So, and so if you miss uh, out on this, it's not too far away. Yeah. Please come and join us. All right. Thank you very All much. Right. Good to thank see you again. Bye-bye. Thanks bye. again. We'll be right back. But, oh, we'll get you up.